I understand you've had quite a few paranormal experiences here. Yes, we have. Can you tell me about your most unique one? Um, I think my favorite one right now is um, I was getting ready to go out, and I was in the kitchen, and I saw this little girl run and scatter under the table. Oh, wow. And I thought it was my daughter, because I do have a six-year-old. So I was yelling at her, saying, you know, get out from under the table. We got to go. We got to go. We got to go. What are you doing? Get out. So I, I walk around to the other side of the table, thinking I'm going to, you know, grab her. And there's nobody there. And then my other daughter comes in from, you know, from outside, and she's like, we're in the car waiting for you. So I was like, where's Ava? She's my little one. And she's like, she's in the car. Wow. So I was like, I know what I saw. <laughs> you know, so that, that's got to be the most vivid, you know, thing yeah, you know, that I've definitely. seen. Yeah, definitely. Actually, it's not, so. it's not very common to see full bodied apparitions. Right. So and that's it, a and really... you don't see them that often. Right. You know I mean? So I, we hear a lot of things, uh, but to actually see something. Gadgets here. Pretty colors. It's like rainbow colors. We got one uh, behind Katie. That's holding. I get more. I actually get more hits just being yourself. Yeah. Besides answering the questions, but giving them questions, but you got to be yourself and be funny a little bit because they do like sarcasms. Can I? Just ask I want you, you to show me that you can light up any of these special gadgets here. Every investigation I'm on, these gadgets get lit up. My questions on command. I want you to show me that you can do this. We are here just for research. That's it. We're not here to harm you. We love the afterlife. And we want just answers from why you're here. One, the history of this place. Two, and we just want to talk to you. That's it. Nothing else. We're friendly people. I brought a, a, a TV crew here. Someone's very upset over here. It's like you're all wrong. Were you here before the house was here? Yes. Were you a soldier? So you're a man. Are you buried on this land? Are you buried under the house? Interesting. It is interesting. The soldiers and all, yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, to tell you the truth, <clears throat> everybody who's investigated that, this place, they have never spoke anything about revolution. Are there a lot of, are there a lot of soldiers here like you? Yes. Wow. 
that bypass this place? Did you camp here? Yes. What? That was me. What's that? Did you, that was me. Okay. Did you come here injured? Yes. Hmm. Is that what you died from, your injury? Yes. Can you light up one of these devices? That was me. I have a gadget on the table here, and it's got pretty colors. If you are here answering these questions, can you just bypass those colors there? It's very loud. It's pretty. Seems very upset. He is? Yes. Why are you upset? Are we disturbing your grounds? No. What's that? Did you hear that? Yes, I yeah. did. Yeah. Seems very upset. He is? Yes. Why are you upset? Are we disturbing your grounds? No. What's that? Did you hear that? Yes, I yeah. Did. I heard it. Uh, you heard that? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I heard it. Yeah. What's that sounded like? It sounded like a jingle? No, I heard a kid say yeah. It sounded like a kid say yeah. Yeah, I heard a voice. Oh, it was a voice? Mm -hmm. Okay. I have it on the recorder. Yeah. Can you make a sound for us or move something in this room? I think he's gone. They just went dead. Really? Are you still here? Are you downstairs? He's not here no more. Then they just the lost all was, their charge. Um, that sound. I s yeah, he said he was upset. And then I heard he weird sound. Yeah, it's definitely a voice. <clears throat> You'll be able to. Did hear something. Yeah. Hmm. Sure, man. I think I have everything. Are you guys going upstairs? Do you want me to come with you? I'm just gonna go check the equipment, that's all. I just wanna make sure it's alright. You don't need me to go up there anymore. Are you gonna do any? No, no, we're gonna come right back down. I just, like I said, I just wanna check the equipment. Close to it, that's why. I walked by it. Oh, okay. The cool in there? Is it cool in there? Nice. What's that? Yeah. It's nice in here, nice and cool. Just shut that air conditioner off and just shut the door. I don't want to leave it run all night on her, you know? 
Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Is that camera still recording? The one on the floor? Yeah. Yeah, it's still on. Yes. Okay. All right, let's How much battery is left in it, though? There's six hour batteries. Well, you're right. Like an echo. My name's Rich. And um, I've been standing over in the corner. And I know you called Bob. But there's a lot of other folks in this room that want to talk to you. Can you tell me your name? Maybe you can tell me what it's like where you're at. Is it frightening? You know, if you don't want to talk to us in here, you can answer us from out in the hallway. And that way, you have the door between us. Maybe you'll feel safer that way. Maybe you don't like talking to guys. We got some ladies here. Would you like to talk to me? I know Julia who lives here. Do you like spending time in this room with her? If there's any children here, we have some jacks and balls over on the tray. If there's any boys there, there's a little truck over here. If you don't know what a truck is, you can push it back and forth. You don't. Yeah, but the equipment cam should be, is covering it all, was covering it all. So we should have it. Somebody walking upstairs? Yep. What so you don't step on that recorder out in the hall? Sure, sound like somebody walking up there. Sure did. Yeah, What's that? Too. Sounded like someone walking up the steps. Walking up, yeah. That's not a duck. So we would definitely hear him up there. Got one or two pops, was but nothing noise? much more. Mm -hmm. Maybe mm -hmm. something was in and out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, something was in, and then when we kind of hunkered down, it left. Um, Did it happen again when you, you heard the noises in the hallway? Um, I heard like I had like one or two pops, um, but. Um, I was thinking, wouldn't it be interesting if I could, like, have some sort of way to, like, record and then, like, you know, almost mark the time with a push button or something. You can. There's a way to mark when you're listening. Because, uh, yeah, when there was the first questions were going in, I was getting a 100% mm. immediate response. 
Like the voice stops, the pop happens. The voice stops, the pop happens. That's interesting. So, um, you know, and in my head I was like, I invite you to come in, and, and it popped right in the middle of me talking to my, you know, in my head. Just say something when it happens. Okay. Can you say your name? again. Someone's here. Can you please say hello? Can you say your name? Is there any Van Wicks here? Can you answer that? this up? I know some Van Wicks. I just got done investigate, investigating a place in the Van Wick homestead. One of their relatives. Can you give me a name? Yes, but well, what, what it was, when we got done with this investigation, I didn't realize. What that's just tell me it was Van Wick. I missed I didn't it. It said something. Can you, start talk, can you start talking about that again? The encampment? Yeah. The encampment you got to pause in between, though. Because okay. it said something. I don't know what it said. It uh, said something. Okay. Oh. <clears throat> All right, the Revolution War, when it started, yes, the Van Wicks were probably big. Money wise, here, owned a lot of property, but. When the revolution soldiers came in, the generals came in, the colonels came in, they took their houses. So where did they go from here? You know, what relationships were they? First cousins, second cousins? Um, did, they move up, did they move up here in Wapiti Falls? Um, when this was in an event, um, what kind of soldiers primarily were here? Revolution. Like the Continental Army. Yeah, it's Continental. It's Continental country here. Um, 
they and were French. The, the British. The British were trying to come up. I couldn't I catch it. It said I something. Can't yeah, I, can't either. I can't make it out, but it's it's saying stuff. So yeah, just yeah, stay, it's stay, about the encampment. Yeah. Um, yeah, stay on this topic. Because the whole Hudson River Valley area was a big part of the Revolutionary War, because the British were trying to come up from Manhattan, and the Brit or the Continental Army were encamped all along here. Going back to the Van, Van Wyck homestead down right. a little bit, Correct. Um, but this whole area would have been would have all been spread out and camped here. So this very right. property, whether it was a house or not, very likely could have been an encampment for soldiers and troops. Because down that way, more towards Fishkill, was a whole big um, this this is deep deep house. House. Yeah. Yeah. Right. which Yeah, which was families, which was stores, which was. Right. Um, plus, you also had the Native Americans, obviously, who were very big around, which is what the town's named after. Um, and that their whole big thing with, with the encampment was to keep the British from getting up into the Catskills. Correct. Was that right? <laughs> I know this area here was big in the Revolution. I know they used this for um, a lot of armory. Soldiers camping out to go on missions of which battle they're going to hit. So this was a, a, a pit stop. That, that last time, I swear it said, who is she? Said what? That when she was talking, after she stopped talking and said something, I thought it said, who is she? Who is she? Huh. Oh. Um. Keep on well, were you, uh, I mean, were you somebody who was here, who was camped here during the Revolutionary War encampment? Were you a soldier? Let me go back to the encampment. Um, it said what? Collision? Who is she? Oh, who is she? When, when I was reading up, when we, you know, about the Van Witt yes. homestead down there, um, I was also reading up on that they, there's a lot of unmarked graves, unknown graves they still haven't found, and yeah. thousands of people died of illnesses, disease, wounds, wounds. starvation. Well, it was more or less battle wounds, because what happened yeah. was, back then, Home Depot was a medical area, and also artillery. They used to park their soldiers. Officers were buried with their uniforms, but the enlisted men, they needed the uniforms so badly, they were buried just in their skivvies. Uh, that's why the graves are unmarked. They have no idea who they could be from any clues from the uniforms. But they said during the 10 years or so of the Revolutionary War, more soldiers passed through this area. Thousands, as you say, died on this property from this area down to Fishkill. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm sure there's a lot of those soldiers that are still around. Unrecognized. You know, they do have movies on this, but that's how that started. Right. Um, <clears throat> but that's when it started. Uh, but the beginning, the beginning stages was Saratoga in Yorktown, in New York. So this was like a, it was, this was like a depot from the Hudson. They carried up artillery and they parked it there, and then they, and then they had uh, cannons and whatever the military. They, they parked it there and they took it from either battle. Yeah. It was like the central uh, area because of the Hudson. Yeah. Yeah. It was, it was kind of like the cargo. They took the cargo, hospitals, and cargo. Right. Kind of like the Delaware, where they tried to stop it, them coming up to Philly through Absolutely. the Delaware. Absolutely. It's very interesting. The whole strategic. Yeah. yeah very, it's very similar. Very interesting. It just seemed it was more up here, I guess, because. New York, Northern Jersey, the Hudson is the hub of everything. Oh, yes. So it was, Absolutely. you had a lot more conflict. Oh, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. It was, it was, a, it was it just really an end death. Good investigation. She said it had a lot more conflict, and then it said end death. Conflict? Oh, yeah, definitely conflict. <laughs> I'll say that. Definitely say that. Now, at the, at the depot, they also had their family, some of them also had their families there and stuff, too, right? Yes, there were nurses. True. There were nurses. They were taking care of. Well, they had a lot of, a lot of hospitals there. Yes, they did. It's the 
it's like almost like the Civil War. Yes, they did take care of the uh, soldiers. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I think they had like uh, uh, at least on that part connecting public officials and walkers. They had about seven hospitals, I think, based there. Okay. Uh, where Home Depot is, Macy's. That was all hospitals all around that area. Uh, and you know, some of them came from other states to come down. <laughs> Incredible area. People really don't know, but it was definitely it was pretty, pretty big. You know, <laughs> the was one of the in the area, so that was almost the end. So it's very was, sad how yeah. little of that is actually left now. It's under Route 84, yeah. under Route 9, it, under all the, of the bodies. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, they believe that the next big site is there's a restaurant, gout. the Mayan Cafe. Oh, yeah. And they believe that there's a lot of bodies under there. Yeah. But there's, there's just so much red tape going on, they can't yeah. get to them to They're do calculating a, digs. Yeah. a thousand bodies. Compared to what they have. You know, back in the 70s, you know, the state didn't, you know, right. pay attention, you know. Mark we want an interstate here, we're putting an interstate here. Right, correct. So, I mean, they're, 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 they're saying about a thousand bodies. That are very unknown. The ones that they did find, it was his argument with that with, with the organization, but uh, <coughs> they're saying it's 87 bodies that they found in dug between officers and French. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, you, know, you still got Knox headquarters, you got George, Watt, George Washington headquarters, and they, got, they, all, they all work the same, you know. Yeah. It's you know, because the George Washington was cannons, they had cannons <coughs> lined up, so when the British ship, ships came through, they artillery uh, base, you know. And, uh, another famous uh, castle we also met. It was also huge in, in the uh, revolution. There was a lookout the tower. Island? Yeah, it was a lookout so tower. <laughs> it was a lookout <laughs> tower. They, they actually looked out for It sounded uh, like a trumpet. It did. Uh, I, I, that sounded like a know, trumpet. Maybe it's revelry. It's pretty amazing. Oh, it looks like yeah. really cool. It's pretty amazing. No, I mean, it's definitely Hello? Can you hear me? Yeah. yeah, it's definitely two kids' voices. What games do you like to play?
head them too if you want. There's all kind of stuff coming through there now. It sounded like Bob. Sound like all adults though. Yeah. No. Yeah, it was one child voice or one or two anyway. Can, can we talk to the children? Can you let the children come through, please? Can you come a little closer to it? We can hear you. Say hello. That was a horn. Yes. That sounded like one of those child's horns that's on a bicycle with the yeah. bulb that you squeeze. Yeah. That's a child voice. Yeah. It's two different kids' voices. Who can finish this little poem? Mary had a little... Yeah. Jack and Jill went up the... I did. 
Are you a Van Wick? <laughs> Did you fight in the Revolutionary War? I heard yep, Bob. You, were you an officer? And if you were, what was your rank? Did you know Colonel Abraham Van Wick? Major Richard Van Wick? President is not sure what it said. Can you repeat that? <laughs> okay, that's okay. <laughs> Thank you. Where are you hiding? <laughs> Can you make yourself appear in front of us? 